We are back on the scene of our outdoor makeover. If you remember from earlier in the show, we're in front of a house here. It's an older home in Oakland. It's about to go on the market, and the homeowners realized that it lacked a lot of curb appeal, and that's why we're here right now. I'm with Roland Toms from Varsity Painting, and Roland, I think it's always the case when somebody's about to sell their home that they're a little shy about spending money on it. But I personally think an exterior job is just too much for someone to do themselves. They should probably go ahead and hire professionals. Well, that's that's a good point. Actually, uh, there was an article that was written a couple of years ago in, in one of the home improvement magazines. It talked about the fact that the two things that you get the most bang for your buck for resale, uh, number one was a kitchen remodel and number two was exterior painting. And so that's, that's where, you know, any money spent on the exterior, you're going to recoup that in your sale price. Um, and what we're going to do here on this particular home is I'm going to show you and, and, and help homeowners identify exactly what is a bad paint job because you're going to see a lot of areas where the coverage of the paint wasn't very good, where the lines aren't straight. And, and so the idea of saving money to cut corners it's not going to really help you in the long run. So there is an argument to doing a job that uh, is budget conscious, but to cut too many corners uh, and, and say go with the lowest painting contractor is, is rarely something I'd recommend. Well, let's talk about this house in particular. It almost seems like on the side of the house they just sort of gave up at some point. So let's talk about some of the things they did wrong and how you guys are going to fix it. Okay, sounds good. We talked about some of the problems on the other side of the house, and the first thing I noticed that's wrong with this side of the house is it's filthy. Yeah, yeah, well, it definitely needs to be pressure washed, so that's something we're going to take care of. Every home needs to be pressure washed before you paint it. Gotcha. But the other thing that really I'd like to, to, to show you is just really the, the improper coverage that you've got here. And it's so common to just cut a corner by either doing a one coat paint job right. or you hire a painting contractor who says they're doing two coats of and paint, but it's not a true, true two coats of paint. True two coats of paint is you let the first coat dry, right. at least a touch, and then you recoat it. And in this case, you can just see the gray paint behind sure. that's bleeding through. Mm -hmm. And here on the actual windowsill, they just did one coat and you can see all the brush marks that uh, yeah. really are showing the white behind and you're not getting good quality coverage. It's not a great looking paint job. So it's really all about having the right paint contractor. It is. Well, I know we've got the right paint contractor for this one and you guys don't want to miss the rest of this makeover. We've got a lot more stuff coming at the end of the show.